Hi friends, welcome to our channel Affairs Cloud. Today I am going to suggest you a best app in the platform. The app name is Careers Cloud. You can download our app from the Play Store and it will be very much helpful for your preparation for current affairs, banking and insurance. You can uh, use this app for preparing for SSC and railways and even UPSC exam. And once you log in, sorry, once you download, you can log in with your Gmail ID. Okay. And once you log in, we will be providing various offers for you so that you can get our products at a discounted price. So good contents at a very low price, you can get it. And about our app, like see, uh, you are having many contents for learning. We will be providing exam wise content also, topic wise content also. We will be providing content and we will be providing quiz also. So like you can read the content and you can uh, uh, revise, revise your what you, are, what all you have learned uh, by using our quizzes. See in this slide we can see like we are providing see banking and economy separately we are providing for a clerk exam we are providing separately and even state wise current affairs it has been given separately and for a uh, see for a uh, national wise also is given to separately so what will happen in this is you are learning contents topic wise so you won't get confused between the uh, what and all you are learning you won't get confused and we will be providing quizzes also for this content separately so topic wise quizzes will be there so you won't get confused in the exam also which will be very helpful for you to remembering the answers see in this slider we have see we have provided like a um, day wise current affairs so once you read the day wise current affairs you can uh, use this and you can revise for the quizzes and here we have provided weekly current affairs also so once you are completed with your day wise current affairs you can go to our weekly current affairs quiz section and you can revise there and after that you can revise this monthly current affairs also so what will happen is you are uh, read daily current affairs and you have practiced uh, daily quiz uh, and you have practiced a monthly quiz and weekly quiz also so multiple revision section wise it will be very helpful for you to remember the answers and so that in the exam you won't forget it very easily and you can score the marks so kindly try the office careers cloud app and get benefited friends okay now we are going okay friends now we are going to see banking and finance related current affairs of current happenings first it is about the rbi news rbi and it has given an authorization okay to whom it has given authorization means it has given to authorization to authorized dealer category one banks okay to open additional current account so they are already having a current account now rbi has permitted them to open another one current account why it is permitted means for export proceeds export proceeds means see if somebody is exporting uh, uh, exporting some goods to some foreign country what will happen from foreign country they will make payment in foreign country the payment will come from their their currency like if it is america it will come in us dollar like that so what currency what from which country the payment is coming currency will be, be that countries okay to receive that proceeds rv has allowed that banks to open one current account okay you can see here is current account so export proceeds export proceeds means the income which it is coming by selling its products through exports so somebody has sold its products through exports and from foreign country if the payment is coming through their own currency the foreign currency then it will be getting collected in this current account so rbi has allowed to open one special current account additional current account for getting this export proceeds okay and they are already having a ostro account they will be having already one ostro accounts sir so now they are allowed for get uh, opening another one current account to receive the export proceeds we have seen what is export proceeds export proceeds means the money which are we are receiving from foreign country for selling goods and that export proceeds will be in which uh, from which country it is coming it will be in that currency no so it is called export proceeds okay 
now we will see in detail what is this host row no host row and all next slides sir now we will see what is we have seen here authorized dealer category 1 no what is this authorized dealer category 1 this ad category 1 bank means rbi will given permission to different bank and there will be different category like category 1 category 2 it will be there category 1 means it is a highest permission they will be having mostly all permission on what permission it is means permission to deal in foreign exchange transaction okay permission to deal in foreign exchange transactions okay and here ad stands for authorized dealer so rbi gives some banks uh, they will give rights that see this bank can deal in foreign exchange transaction that is called authorized dealer and there will be some rights based on the rights it will be like category 1 category 2 if the highest right if it is having mostly all rights it is called category 1 bank okay see this is the highest dealer authorized dealer category category 1 is the highest authorized dealer so there are many categories like category 2 will be there they will be having some provision they can do this they can do this like that so category 1 is the highest dealer category so we have seen what is this authorized dealer category 1 authorized dealer category 1 means authorized dealer means rbi has given rights to their bank to deal in foreign exchange transaction and this category 1 is it is like a class so class 1 class 2 class 3 to class 1 is highest class so they will be having mostly all rights to do the foreign transactions okay we will see next slide what is this no straw was straw and loro no straw account Mm, i will explain you with the two banks it is indian bank it is a foreign bank okay if uh, see this indian bank is having a account in foreign bank okay see i will show you as indian i account a so this indian bank is having an account in foreign bank and here it will be in this foreign bank's currency okay see if it is in usa this account bank is it. this foreign bank is in usa and here the currency will be in dollars so our indian bank is having a account in a foreign bank and the currency of that is in us dollar and the foreign country's do, uh, currency this is called a no straw account okay now we will come to no straw account same here indian bank uh, this is a foreign bank okay this foreign bank is opening an account with our indian bank we will see this is see foreign account we will mark it as fk foreign account they are maintaining and it will be in our indian currency okay this is called ostro and this first one is called nostro okay this is called nostro and ostro we have seen what it is now uh, loro account see now uh, we have we what uh, we will see this nostro example see here another one indian bank is there okay another one indian bank but uh, this bank is not having like this one foreign account they are not having so what they will do is they will use this bank's account here they are having this bank uh, this uh, i bank is having an account here no indian account so this indian bank what they will do they will use the foreign account of this branch this bank so it is a third party so using the third party's foreign account and that currency will be in the foreign foreign bank's currency so if they didn't have a own account they will be using the other bank's account in the foreign currency this is called loro so no they are not having own accounts and they are using someone else account and that denomination also will be in the third party not in the own third party see what what we are telling you see this is i'll say you clearly this is indian bank it is currency in rupee denominated in rupee so it is using the foreign account of other bank and the currency also will be in foreign currency us dollar so account using the account of other bank and denomination currency denominated also in foreign currency this is called loro account okay loro and escrow account what is this escrow means uh, uh, for simple language if we can tell means we can tell it as uh, escrow means um, see i will tell you easily escrow means a uh, mediator see two persons are there a 
B is there. So A will sell the goods to B and after B receiving the goods, he will pay the money to A. But here A don't know B and B doesn't know A. Both are strangers. So they won't trust each other. So what they will do, they will select a third person C. C. Okay. So what they will do an agreement, B will keep the money with C. So after A sending the goods, C will release the money to A. So here C is uh, acting like a mediator. Okay, this is called a scrow. Okay. Abbreviation you can see here, a temporary account for securing funds holding during a transaction. This is called an escrow account. Okay, about Reserve Bank of India, Governor is Sakti Kantadas and its headquarters is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. And now we are going to see about uh, penalty. Who will put penalty? RBI, they have put penalty. Okay. And who's, who and all they have put penalty means RBI has put penalty on Axis Bank Limited, Manapuram Finance Limited and Anand Rati Global Finance Limited. Okay, we will see the reasons why they have put a penalty and how much is the penalty and we will see about something about that uh, banks also. First thing, their penalty on Axis Bank. How much is the amount? Amount is 90.92 lakhs. So, RB has imposed a penalty of 90.90 lakhs. Okay, why means uh, RB they have done inspection on this Axis Bank. Uh, and they have discovered a statutory inspection for supervisory evaluation. This is that inspection name. They have found multiple irregularities during this inspection. RBI has done this inspection, statutory inspection for supervisory evaluation. And they have found multiple irregularities. So they have put fine of 90.92 lakhs to the Axis Bank. And about Axis Bank, Axis Bank headquarters it is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. MD and CEO is Amitabh Chaudhary and the tagline is Badika Nam Zindagi. Okay. Next about Manapuram Finance. Penalty on Manapuram Finance. Are we know they have put a monetary penalty of 42.78 lakhs on Manapuram Finance. What is the reason is they have not uh, followed certain provisions of the NBFC. Okay. Systematically important non-deposit taking company and deposit taking company. See NBFC, NBFC now they should follow the deposit taking. Actually they should take, they can take deposits but they should follow some directions. Okay, that uh, they, they should take this much deposit like that. RBI will put uh, some regulations on them. Since Manapuram Finance has not followed that, they have put a monetary penalty of 42.78 lakhs on Manapuram Finance. And about Manapuram Finance, it is headquarter is in Kerala and it is MD is VP Nandakumar. And next penalty is on Anandrati Global Finance. RBI, they have imposed a penalty of 20 lakhs on Anandrati Global Finance for non-compliance with certain provisions of RBI KYC directions 2016. What is this KYC means? know your customer okay so rbi they will put send tell this directions this you should follow this and all during kyc uh, kyc we know your customer means you should know your customer well you should get their uh, proof of address proof of uh, address you should get uh, and uh, like proof of there will be like some documents to be collected that only you should follow rbi has told this uh, they would have told this in uh, directions, certain provision, but they have not followed uh, this. Some provision they have not followed, Anandrati Global Finance. So, 20 lakh penalty has been put on them. And about headquarters of Anandrati Global Finance, it is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. And who is the CEO of Jugal? Who is the CEO of Anandrati Global Finance? It is Jugal Mandri. Okay. Okay, friends. Thanks for watching our channel and please don't forget to like, subscribe and share our channel to your friends also. And uh, we are in almost all the platforms and kindly subscribe in all our platforms also. Platforms are provided here. 
and thanks for watching our channel thank you friends